Hello and welcome back to Dum Dum Die, an all-female, all-awesome D&D 5th edition homebrew podcast and interactive live stream on Twitch. However, this week is not interactive, I'm so sorry, but it's still on Twitch, so there's <laughs> that. And it'll be on the podcast. What we're doing is we are doing pre-recordings because we also want to have a festive season. And I hope you're enjoying your festive season. But to pick it up... Our players are going to introduce themselves and, oh, me, I'm Carla, I'm the GM. I (laughs) never know how many times, I don't think I introduce myself like half the time, Yeah. but there we go, that's me (laughs) and my amazing players starting across the table. Hi guys. Oh no, I'm in a different room. (laughs) 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 Starting from across the room. Across, across the the building. (laughs) Oh, the void, I like that. Huh, that is nice. Oh wow. Okay, my name is Nicole and I play the character Stasi. Hi, I am Nelly, and I play the character Kira Nightingale. I'm a half elf. And I'm Wednesday, and I play a Lauren Skyvale, the paladin. And we are picking up on the insanely interesting rowing. <laughs> As bone crabs are jumping out of the sea, uh, the entire seabed is basically made of bone crabs, which Nelly knows but hasn't told anybody. <laughs> I'm in shock, okay? Yeah, yeah. Nelly, Nelly has had a shocking few weeks. And. Around the table, we have Lauren, who was rowing and who has lost an oar. Yes, which I have is just lost an oar. Which is going to slow down their rowing to 150 feet in action. And Stasi is looking at a bone crab and mm. chilling with a bone crab that she may or may not think is her dad. Who knows? His name is Krabby. Well, I call him Krabby. Yeah. <laughs> And that brings us to Kira. What are you going to do? There are no more bone crabs on the boat except for the one that seemed to be helping you. Yes. Um, you can hear plops from the sea as bone crabs are jumping. There are fewer plops though because they've kind of there's like there are fewer crabs, aren't there, at this rate? Uh, at the rate you're moving, you think there's less, yeah. but it could just be because you're moving past them too quickly to recognize. Okay. Um, so I see that we have lost an oar, so I'm going to try to... And yeah, the oar's like now 150 feet away. Oh. And I'm staring forlornly after the oar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, oar is not lost, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. You can make it to the island. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think of something I can do that can help us speed up, but I think I've used the rest of my spell slots for Earth Tremor. Uh, wait, hold on. You are level two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, and wait. you guys do have something I figured out today. You have sorcery points. Yep. What? Which is you have two well, you that do. you can spend on y- using as an extra spell slot. Yes. I knew so that. you get two spell slots. Yeah. Okay, then if that's the case, I think I'm going to... I want to do another Earth Tremor. Do I, I need to roll inside first to make sure yeah, I can do roll, it correctly. Roll inside for me, because the higher you get, the further you'll go. Mm. Three. Okay, I mean, you're going to move. But okay. you, I, I was trying to help you out here. But you've still got 8,130 feet to go. But you do push the boat, and I'll give you, for that, I'll give you 900 feet. Cool, 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 cool. Thanks. Mm. As you... Move, the, push the boat along. You realize that it is just sheer force. Mm-hmm. It's it wasn't any like proper planning on your part, but it worked. Cool. Stasi. Mm. So I'm like super convinced that this could be the skull of my dad. Well, I mean, you did roll the percentile. Yeah. So I'm gonna just keep talking to it and be like. Dad. This is so weird because now I'm looking at Kira. <laughs> so I'm going to be like, Dad, is this really you or is this like some kind of joke? Um, roll for me. Uh, investigation. No, uh, no. Insight. Roll for me. Insight. I mean, it seems legit. You, yeah, you're really unsure what to do with this information that you have. Okay, I'm just gonna like 
still sit there and examine the skull and yeah i i don't know what else to do it just it kind of sits there in its turn it it sits there and just sort of waits and you and you looking at it so closely Stasi, you can see that less there does appear to be less uh, crabs jumping out the water. Can I also just ask her one more question? Yeah. Um, Dad, what do you know about Isaiah? Um, roll for me. History. Eight. I have a minus one for history. <laughs> um, I mean, so, Isaiah, you know a little bit about her uh, from working at the shadows with Banquo. Yeah. And you've met his mom once or twice. Um, but you realize as you're, as you're um, in the boat, you realize that... Word. Isaiah's my mom. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Alas is Bangor's mom, yeah. yeah. Oh, what does he know about Isaiah? You know a lot about your mom. <laughs> but what does he know? Like, you know, I'm uh, sure... Sorry about that. Skull. Confusion. Um, you realize that it, there's no way for the skull to communicate with you, necessarily. Mm. And also, you remember, as you're asking it the questions, you remember that when you were a child... And you went to go play in the caves. All your parents used to say to you, like, you can swim, but don't go too deep into the into the ocean, because there's uh, like crabs that'll eat your eat your skin. Oh. And you you know, as a child, you always thought that was just something your parents used to yeah. say to you to to keep you away from T-Rock and you know, to not go adventure near the prison island. Yeah. And also, obviously, to not go swim too deeply. And they were like, yeah, and then they'll eat your skin and take your memories. And and the like, the children's tale was like, yeah, they'll eat your skin, take your memories, and and they'll they'll wear your wear your bones as a hat. Okay. So you remember? You're like, oh snap! Yeah, That's mom used to tell me when you were speaking about your mom. You remember that that was a story your mom used to tell you guys. That's heavy. <laughs> uh, Lauren, um, are we looking forlornly or are we rowing? I was forlornly looking at the oar, so now I'm. It is still my turn to row, right? I mean, you are sitting at the. Yes, I'm going to continue to row. One handed. One handed. Well, one oared. One oared. Okay, so that's going to give you. Uh, I, I figure you're going to th- figure out a way to do it that you can still propel forward but because you're figuring out a way you can't do 300 yes. feet in action so it's That's 150 fine. feet in action so you're gonna double row yes what am i rolling uh d20 on its strength actually no this one make it wisdom wisdom 10 okay that's unfortunately only 150 and again if you double row on strength or wisdom? Wisdom. 19. 19. Okay, that'll give you double. Uh, so, you are 6,780 feet away. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Match wow. me roll. Match. Wow. Match me Kira? <laughs> um, so, I remember I have a spear. I'm going to try to use my spear as a second oar and try to help cool. Laura in with rowing. Um, roll survival for me. Yeah. 12. Yeah. I mean, you can do it. Okay, double double row. Yes. Okay, I'm also gonna give you 300 because it's a spear. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Then Stasi. Um. Well, everyone else is rowing in silence. You are having a moment to be or not to be <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the skull. I'm gonna go. Dad, do you remember the time that you told that you and Mom told us that we shouldn't go swimming too deep? Um, in the ocean do you remember that you said that there would be crabs that would eat your skin and take your memories and then wear your bones as a hat do you remember that do you remember anything 
Like, give me a sign. Uh, hold on. Guys, I'm legit yeah, they to crap. Uh, he j- <laughs> the, the, the skull just sits there. But roll inside for me. Fifteen. You realize, like, you're not going that fast in the boat. You look up and you're like, wait, where's the oar? And why aren't we going so fast? But there's not that many crabs jumping in. So either you're away from where there's a lot of crabs. Yeah. Or it seems like the crabs have been getting less and less the longer this one has stayed in the boat. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take that as my sign. I, the information you gleaned. Okay. It's um, one of two options. Okay. Correlation is not exactly causation, but you're welcome. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that as the sign that I asked for. Um, and then I'm going to I just wanna see what I have here to um I am going to stick my hands out the boat and try and help them row. Okay. Um, roll strength for me. <laughs> you need to get over 13 because you are using your hand. 13. Okay. Oh, wow. That's all right. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll give, it, I'll give it an extra 100 feet for each time you do that. So, Thank you're you. going to do both your actions that. Yeah. Cool. Lauren? Rowing. Okay, so Lots is anyone rowing. gonna do anything other than row? No. 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 I'm a little bit weirded well, out. She's been talking to a crab the whole time. It's my dad, don't be disrespectful. No, no this whole <laughs> this whole thing has been way too stressful for Lauren. He's just gonna throw himself into physical activity. Okay. Yeah. Mental mental exercise. Yes. Uh Kira? I was thinking if I can do w- one more earth tremor, but I can't remember if I have enough spell stuff. Well, are you going to spend two sorcery points? Because you get one spell slot for each sorcery point. Uh, you have to. Just mark it down. Okay, let me just do that now. I, s- I really want us to get moving a little faster, so. Yeah. All right, so I'll, u- I'll do Earth Tremor again. All right. Roll inside. Nine. Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you a thousand for that. Okay. Yay. And then if Lauren's double rowing, yep. please roll wisdom. For both rolls? Yeah. Uh, seven and 11. Okay, unfortunately that's just gonna get you 300. Stasi, you're gonna assist? Um, so I'm gonna keep rowing with my hands, but I'm also like gonna continue speaking to my dad. Okay, whatever you say to it, the crowd It doesn't just do anything. Sits. I'm just gonna like, you know, wow. converse with Stream it. Stream of consciousness. Ness, ness, ness. <laughs> Am I rolling strength again? Yeah. Twice. So, 19. Okay. Um, That'll give you 150. 7. 19, and then minus 50. Okay. 4,780. Left. If you're not going to do anything else special, I will yeah. say you'll get there in six rounds okay so it's gonna take you about another 15 minutes of rowing are you gonna stop before you get to the the shore Uh, are you gonna look for so tell me how you want to approach the island i think at this point i'll I'll just be frantically rowing so i won't even realize we've reached until we hit the uh, okay so you're just gonna no i'm i'm uh, i would probably be much the same because i actually just want to get out of this boat now yeah. Okay, I'm, cool. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. At that, considering everyone is pushing and this boat is not the best boat in the world, I've got to roll a percentile. And if it's over 50, the boat is going to splinter. It is not. The boat manages oh, to. <laughs> oh, Good stuff. It manages to keep itself together. It does look worn. Okay. Uh, it, it does yeah. look a little buckled on the part oh. that's scraped against uh, the rocks. Because mm-hmm. as you land on the beach, the beach is. Um, Almost that pebbly beach. It's not uh, sand. It's okay. it's pebbles, and you realize why people chose this as the prison island because the beach has a very short. It's maybe like 
seven feet mm. before it reaches a cliff. So it's almost like this entire island is just a cliff mm. rising out of the ocean. Okay. Um, you're on the sort of cliff face side. Yeah. Uh, you assume if you walk around, there's a slope somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the island is probably about three kilometers. A, a, is it in diameter if it's in a circle? Yes. So mm -hmm. three kilometers in diameter. No, that's circumference, sorry. Diameter is across. across. Okay. Yeah. Well, three and three, like in a, like in a square. Like in uh, a... The legs. Yes. Yeah. So it's three wide and uh, three across. And the width. But like not in a square. It's in an yeah. you know, island shape. Like in a natural <laughs> in formation. Yeah, it's yeah. not a weird island. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can see some buildings at the top of the, of the cliff. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the building sort of extends down the cliff. But you're, where you're looking, you are basically right up against cliff face oh. as soon as you get out the, the boat. And probably for half a kilometer on each side, like if you look half a kilometer to your left, half a kilometer to your right, it appears the cliff is still quite high, but mm. it is tapering. Okay. okay. Uh -oh. Ever so slightly. It's not going to be like you can yeah. walk half a kilometer and then climb up the hill I am going to shake out my armor and then put it back on <laughs> okay yeah you do so I'm going to I'm, I'm going to suggest we, we walk around the the cliff face until we get to the slope mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Kira I don't think that's a good idea I think that we need to rest we have been rowing for a really long time we're all tired we need to rest so we can get our strength back so we can fight whatever is coming our way. It is sort of two o'clock. Yeah, I mean, you've been rowing for a long time. In the morning or the afternoon? Afternoon. In the afternoon, because you started rowing sort of first thing. Okay. Um. Um, also, can the three of you please roll inside for me? Okay. You have an advantage, Nicole. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen? 17. 22. 22. I meant perception, but all those rolls are good enough. Sorry, I said inside. It's very early 24. here for me. Um, 24. Oh, perception, then. Perception's the same. No, no, then perception will be 17. Okay, sweet. Because all those, like the dice rolls were actually good. Okay. Um, and I got a nat 20. Ooh. Oh, damn. Why didn't you say nat 20? Because I wanted to say 24, because that was... Higher. That 20 is way better than 24. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that 20. Is like, you won the lotto. Uh, the three of you see some shells moving and you realize maybe it's those bone crabs. Yeah. And then they stop. The two of uh, Nelly and Wednesday, you notice that they stop and you think, okay, something must have... Because they started to clamber and then they just... It looked like they were almost waiting, and then they went back to their positions hidden on the beach. Huh. Uh, Nicole, because you've been paying attention, you saw that when they started to move, the one that's in the boat sort of made a motion. And then they stopped. And then they stopped and went back to their hiding places. Is he the king of crabs? That's, that's pretty it's my day. What can I say? He's the king. He's the crab king. Crab king. Um, do we get out of... Are you guys out of the boats as yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so cool. Before you got out the boat, you saw the things moving, you waited. Yeah. Okay. And then they haven't moved again. So okay, I'm, I'm going to put my arm out and be like, come, Dad, let's go. And then hopefully it crawls on my hand so we can walk. Because that's not weird at all. Yeah. Uh, it's going <laughs> to it's gonna do that. What were you saying about weird? Um, It's still weird. It's definitely still weird. I, you know what? I'm, Stassi, I'm still kind of annoyed with you, but this is beyond us now so let's maybe we should rest for now i agree maybe just a quick short rest okay are you going to just um how? is there is there a place almost like a like a hideout um or anything that kind of like behind a rock or something where what, like not really visible? Would, you, could, you could look but you'd have to go walk and find yeah. somewhere currently right now all you basically see is cliff face so we still but i mean walk. you could Lean against yeah. the cliff face. I mean, nothing's going to come at you from behind I or think above. 
Yeah. Maybe from above. Mm-hmm. I think we need to go inland a little bit because yeah. we know that the crabs are here. So I'd rather get off the actual beach. I itself. don't think that's going to be a problem, to be very honest with you. Let's let's actually let's just go in. I don't want to feel we, we're a bit expo- we're actually I was talking to Laura and we're exposed out here, and I think we should probably. I agree. Let's just yes. go in. I well, I, I actually don't trust Stasi at all. I mean, I didn't trust her to begin with, but now I super don't trust her because I, like I know she knows is who mutual. Isaiah is, and there's there's something that she's hiding that is dodge. So I'm just gonna like start walking ahead, like w- walk further inland. Okay, uh, so you're gonna walk around the edge of the cliff until you can find a path. Yeah, that's some kind of path. Relatively easy to walk yeah. up. Yeah, because we are tired from rowing. left or right. Mm. Mm, right. As you go right, uh, probably about a kilometer further, mm. which, I mean, for you guys to walk, it's like yeah. 10 minutes. It's not far. Mm-hmm. Um, are you trying to do it quietly? No. Yeah. Dude, I'm He's in full armor. armor. He's not, there's no, no way. way. <laughs> this is a discussion you have as, as Stasi is trying to be like, dun, 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 and you're like, clank. Clank. Why are you I, even trying? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm still really exhausted. My arms have like almost fallen off. I'm just done. Stasi um, says this out aloud, and this is how we die. <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. Actually, how we die is by you withholding important information. Look, oh, I told you exactly guys. Stassi. No, she no, got no, real. no, no, no. Never mind the fact that Nelly knew about the bone crabs being under the sea <laughs> the whole time. But we're cool. <laughs> Look, that's a, I that's told you guys. I didn't know you really knew about the bone crabs. I know you so. didn't know. That's why either you tell people the information or you don't. There's no in between. No. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm still in shock. Okay, that's my that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> you know what, Paladin? I feel like you guys know everything. So Are what exactly is your problem? And then I'm gonna push him forward. Because so I'm just you mad. Know, you're going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And because he's wearing armor, I hope he falls. Well, I think because, because he's not used to people touching him, he, he does yeah. stumble back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there will, there will definitely be a stumble because you touched me. Like. And then I'm going to say, and I am sick and tired of you guys blaming me for every single thing that's been happening. You guys are at fault as well. And then I'm just going to walk ahead of them. Okay, as you walk, um, eventually... Cautiously. Um, <laughs> cautious, you're like, <gasps> okay, no, wait. Slowly. Yeah. I'm pissed off, but yeah. not so pissed off that I want to die. Exactly. <laughs> um, like, casually pissed off. Casually pissed off. Fair enough. Yeah. As you come around, uh, like, you've walked for about a kilometer, and the cliff has slowly been um, moving slightly inwards and uh, sloping ever so slightly downwards. Now it's uh, kind of at the height, you know, like when you jump out of a pool. So it will require you to lift your body up, but you could get up, like scramble up the hill. Okay. Um, and if you do so. Which I do. Yeah, I mean, you guys are all relatively fit and I mean, you can scramble up a hill. Yeah. Uh, you scramble up the edge and you see that up uh, top of the cliff face is what appears to be the most barricaded... Uh, part of the prison so it's just a rectangular building okay. and it has steel bars across the windows um some of them look bent and old and rusted but you can't really tell from this distance mm. and then sort of going down the cliff face uh mm. there appears to be uh what look like two uh two smaller buildings mm sort of but the same two smaller buildings every like fifth uh no every 200 feet okay there's a set so there's about eight of those and then down in where you guys are you can see some buildings that you imagine are were for the people the staff so there's maybe uh, there's a building near you that's that's smallish um it's not as well structured so the other ones are actually made from uh concrete which in this world is a very valuable resource and it's very yeah. hard to make because it, it requires a lot of magic to turn and mm. and make concrete so the prison is made out of concrete but the other and the two two uh, buildings that look the same every those eight ones are also made out of concrete everything else is made out of you know wood and some yeah. thatch and a little bit of plaster but yeah, those ones you can see are made of concrete. Okay. Um, 
Um, so there's a plaster thatch one near you. I'm going to go to that one. I'm going to go to that one and then just kind of peep through and see if anyone's in there. As you peep, it appears to be a storeroom, but it's not been in use for a very long time. So it's got cobwebs and uh, like broken things. There's a, <laughs> okay. It's actually quite empty. Um, I'm going to say to Alara. See whatever's le- sorry, you can see whatever was left there was left there because it was broken. Okay. So whenever they cleared this out, they cleared it methodically. I'm going to say to Alaren and Kira, guys, I think we should rest in here and then go in. Okay. Um, so before I go into the building, um, I'm just going to stand outside. I'm going to take out my sword and put it on the ground, you know, holding it sort of almost like you would imagine that whole Excalibur type pose. Mm. Um, and then I want to use Divine Sense to see if there is mm. any evil around us. Okay. Um, as you do that, uh, you feel you feel something very eerie coming from what you imagine is the prison block. Mm-hmm. Um, you wonder if maybe so many years of sorrow had permeated it Mm. because you know concrete is also relatively new in this world and Mm. so people don't trust it because it does make magic act a little bit weird okay if you're in a building of full concrete yeah and so maybe it kept some memories of that or Mm. who knows Mm. um you get nothing you get nothing from um Nearly, you get nothing from the bone crab. You get a weird, a touch of unease from Nicole. Okay. Can I roll our comment? I don't want to go into the building before I, I can at least ass- assess that it's safe. Can I roll like either investigation or arcana? Maybe arcana. I don't know. We, uh, the storeroom building. Yeah, because I don't want to go into a building if I don't feel like it's because I I can't tell what's going on in there. It's small, but I just want to be sure it's... Um, you can roll Arcana. See if it's got it giving off Anything any magical ju- juju. 20. Unnatural 20. No, but as you opened up your arcane senses, you stumble to the ground and start retching quite violently. As so force magic. As, but it's definitely coming from the prison block. Oh. Yeah. So, so you're going to you're gonna struggle to progress. So... The eight buildings, mm-hmm. you imagine they're guard houses because they're down the trail of um, the from the prison block to the inverted commas town. Mm. So the only way to get to the prison block is to walk through those eight buildings and to walk up the hill, or to climb up the cave, uh, uh, the, the cliff, cliff face, face. <laughs> yeah. so the climb up the cave. So um, you you. Retch quite violently for a moment, and then it stops. Okay. So you realize it's not necessarily force magic that was done recently, but it's been so much that it just permeates. So if you open your senses up again, it's it's gonna come seeping in. Okay. okay. So I'm in shock. So I, I kind of while I'm pu- I finish peeking my guts out, I just say that there's something distinctly wrong with this, with this place. We need to with the with the prison. The storeroom seems fine. Oh yeah, with the with the pr- there's something wrong yeah. with the prison. If we need to get this over and done if there's something wrong and I don't feel well. Look, we have to rest first, guys. We cannot rest long. Okay, but we still need to rest. Use the healing potions instead. I think we, we cannot stay on this island for too long. Does the healing potions act almost as like a long rest? No. So uh, healing uh, potions will only give you only HP. Points. But mm. that's it. The only way you can get spell slots is if you, if you sleep. Is if you sleep. Yeah. And I need my spell slots. Look, guys, let's just rest for about half an hour. And I then mean, I you, can, you, you can... Sorry, just as an aside, yeah. uh, Nicole. Uh, even though it's a game mechanic, yeah, it is also sort of a part of your world. So you just won't say it's spell slots. So you could tell them something like, my magic is f- very depleted. Okay, okay And I need cool. to... You know, so you, yeah. you just won't say in character... I don't have enough spell slots, guys. But you can say, like, yeah. you know, you feel like you're, you... Like you I need, need to rest. You need to rest because your magic's depleted yeah. and mm. then you're not going to be able to cast anything. Okay, cool. So you're welcome to say that. You can absolutely say that. Um, yeah, I'm going to say to them, guys, my magic is, like, is going to be of no use if we, if we don't rest. I, I also feel drained. I, I, I need 
a moment. Okay. You know, a short rest is not going to give you no, spell slots. How, yeah. how long is a long... How long is a... That's a whole like day, a right? Well, it's like, what, eight hours, six hours? Uh, you guys are... For you, it's less because you're a half-elf. Mm-hmm. So for you, it's like four. It's four, yeah. yeah, boy. For you, it's uh, six to eight. Um, okay. Look, I do think we should take a long rest. Also because it's still during the day. If we have to go through now, they're going to see us. We're better. It's better to attack at night. I mean, you do realize that uh, because you found sort of the plateau of the cl- of the cliff mm-hmm. hill, and if you look across, I mean, you can't see that far, but looking around the edge where you are, you see that that sort of um, jump up off the pool scramble mm. is sort of all the way around here. So you imagine that uh, the cliff it's been um, excavated that way so that yeah. there is a there's Barrier. the beach a plateau yeah. and then it leads to the to the cliff yeah so the only way to, as i said to get to the prison is to repel up the cliff yeah. or to walk up the slope past the two yeah. four six eight what you imagine to be guard houses because mm. okay. i mean it was a prison it was built for very few entrances and if to make exits very hard to do yeah. so it would be quite hard to hide walking straight up towards yeah. the prison all right fine okay so i am you do realize that unless yeah. you are going to climb in which case you could hide quite easily mm. but it would be difficult mm. without rest especially yeah. Yeah. so i'm going to step you outside are also again. actually sorry from all the rowing yeah you are also physically yeah. tired lauren i know I need, I need to rest yeah i'm going to step outside from the um the store the storehouse that we're in mm-hmm. um yeah it to let the them rest on the rest inside shops. i just don't feel comfortable sleeping in the same spaces like girls it's not cool, cool. <laughs> yeah i mean the storeroom it's it's literally just shelves there's some dust there's like a broken yeah. Uh, yeah. box okay. a broken bottle you can see they cleared this out when they cleared T-Rock mm-hmm. very methodically and then they just left behind whatever because no one expected this place to be used again yeah okay so yeah so I'm so just going to it's a small to room with shelves on the sides yeah okay. I'm, I'm just, just going to sleep up against the side of a, one of those rock walls uh on a, one of the, the walls of walls. the storeroom um on the outside not of the storeroom, like so that I can see the storeroom. Okay. So outside of it, but along where you said the rocks were. So that face. means you would have to sort of jump off the plateau and sleep on the beach. Oh. Is that what you're trying to say? Sorry. No, no, no. I just want to be able to see the storehouse. You if can. If I wake but up, the but I'm sleeping on the outside. Edge, so is it on the right on the edge. The only thing you could lean on is would the be hill? the storehouse, or or go forward, forward in sort of onto the plateau, and mm. then find another building to lean against yeah i want to go onto the plateau then. yeah i mean you are on the plateau yeah. but i'm saying you need but to go further, further in, in yeah so past the storehouse yes you go Just past the storehouse provided you i see can see it i can see it yeah i mean you can see it mm. yeah. so you see uh walking past the storehouse you see as i said it's a plateau mm-hmm. it's probably you know this part is like a you imagine a kilometer and a half across uh, you see an outhouse nearby. Mm. You, you assume it's an outhouse. It's yeah. shaped like one. You could lean against that and watch the storeroom. Not very dignified. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, there's a lot other, of things other have been undignified on this trip. There's <laughs> other larger buildings, but are they further away? They are further okay, away. Okay, no, then I'm just gonna lean up against the side of the wall there. Okay, you do so. You can watch the the storeroom. You also are facing in a way that if someone were to come down from mm. the... So you see that all the buildings are also sort of facing inwards so that if someone were to come down the, the hill, most of the doors or um, entrances face actually that way. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 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 I'm going... Because uh, I, I was going for my, my stuff. I realized I actually do have a bedroll. So I'm going to take my bedroll out. <laughs> I'm still in the storeroom. I'm going to like go on the... F- I'll see where Stassi gets set up and I'll be in the exact opposite corner as far mm. away from her as possible. It's a small storeroom, eh? I'm like stubborn, okay? Okay, you I'm are like making sh- a plan in this little corridor. Yeah. Like this little, it's basically a walkway for people to walk and pick up a box. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep to myself with my little bedroll. 
All right. I'm going to lean up against one of the walls and then sleep. Okay, Lauren, are you going to sleep? Yeah, after a little while. After a little while. Yeah, I just want to make sure. I'm, I'm basically, I'm still feeling that initial like unease of the surroundings. So it'll probably keep me awake for a little bit before. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm not used to feeling evil. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Being evil around you? Or you e- feeling any of this stuff. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, the bone crab sort of just finds a corner on the shelves and settles down. Okay. Oh, I forgot about Krabby. Ken, <laughs> uh, who was actually attacked and damaged by bone crabs? Me. I remember I was attacked, yeah. Were you damaged? I don't think I was I damaged. No, you damage. didn't lose. And Nicole, you received damage. Uh, I you think, d- yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, okay. You, the two of you feel, as, as you're sleeping, it's one of those, like, uh, you don't cognitively feel it, but mm. you, you yeah. when you wake up, you're going to be like, you are starting to be racked with fever. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and... Lauren, you are starting, you are having the strangest dreams about uh, your inverted commas beloved. Oh, oh. damn it. I hate those dreams. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Uh, you know, you just mm. are constantly seeing Aurelia in her wedding dress and she's crying and oh, she's. Crap. Shame on you. Yep. And she's calling for you and. And it feels like you're falling down a, down a hole and she's trying to reach you and she's just calling for you. Um, Nicole, you see... Uh, you wake up. Yeah. This, okay, this is what you feel. You don't actually wake up, but this is what you uh, feel. I hate happened. these dreams so much. <laughs> you guys got the white ghost shivers. <laughs> yeah. uh, you wake up and... The, the bone crab, it's, it's sort of it's still s- skull-like, but it's transforming, uh, like it's shifting phases between looking like your dad's actual face and looking like just the skull. Yeah. And it's moving and it's saying, um, uh, and it's saying to you, I'm here with you and uh, we must write what your mother has done and Whoa. you know who you are and Simba. And so, yeah, it's very. <laughs> and it's it's shifting in and out, and it's also saying and it's saying, protect her even though she doesn't want you to. And it's continuously shifting in and out, and you feel like you have been having a conversation for five hours about yeah. this, and you are shivering, and the both of you are sweating. Okay. Uh, you guys do lose two HP, but you get everything that you would get from a long rest. Okay. Uh, Nelly, you're fine. <laughs> you sleep, yeah, I'm, I'm sleeping about sleep soundly in I, your I'm in your righteous indignation. Yeah, I'm dream, dreaming about like unicorns and puppies and sunshine and pretending I have an amazing life without this terrible human being who claims to be my sister. Okay. Um, sure. And <laughs> what happens? Uh, you all just gonna uh, wake up? Yeah. Yeah. Once I get my my full rest, I'm up and ready to go. Do I sense anything when I wake up? Any, do I smell anything strange? When you wake up, you immediately start puking, as you realize you're not in the storeroom anymore. Oh. Sh- <laughs> because no one set watch, guys. No, no guys. On no. an enemy island, you're like, ah, no one needs to I'm watch right, the fevers. The fevers. And they wow. didn't notice us the fevers. what was happening to you because they were wrecked by fever. Yeah. So you wake up and you are sitting uh. in a cell and Banquo is looking at you and he's saying, welcome. And that brings us to the end of this week's episode. Sure. <laughs> sure. This is what happens. This is what happens when you don't trust your sister. This is what so happens when no one puts on watch. <laughs> Guys, it's just me. Oh, okay, well, okay. Great. That, that I have to tune in next week to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Even to you. Oh, crap. Uh, crabs. I hope crabs. you guys had a good time. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> well, yeah, but no. Yeah, getting the sweets and having nightmares is great. Yeah. It's great. This is, this is, it, it was, it's really cool. The bone crab is a really cool monster. Yeah. Guys, I saw my dad. I'm away. happy. Hmm? You I'll saw your dad. dad. You're good. Um, and a huge thank you to you, the viewers, as always. Thank you so, so much for watching. To my players who make everything an amazing adventure. Remember, if you enjoyed this, please share it with your friends, foes, families, and familiars. And you can find us on all the socials at Dum Dum Die, spelled D U M D U M D I E. If you'd like to mail us, you can mail us at dumdumdiepod at gmail.com. And. For the two people who have emailed us, <laughs> I will get back to you. <laughs> Probably before this even airs. So there's that. And um, also, uh, just I hope you have a most amazing festive filled with adventure. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.